Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well and you know I hope you guys are happy. I am just feeling abundantly blessed. We are three days away from meeting our little princess or should I say our due date. So I am just overjoyed, so excited, so nervous, so ready for her to come. So today's video is just so fitting. As you guys can see by the title, we are going to be revealing our sweet baby girl's name as well as giving you guys a quick tour of her nursery. I hope you guys enjoy. So upon entering our baby girl's nursery, it's a very calm and peaceful vibe. While you guys are watching me here, I have the lights dim, the lights low, so it's just a lot of natural light that comes in. We did decide to paint her walls two separate colors. Her accent wall is a very light paint and I'll be sure to put the actual color here on the screen as well as the brand maker. And then the other three walls are a very, very faint gray. I think it's the perfect perfect neutral gray and I'll be sure to put the color right here as well. Um, we did add crown molding and a new light fixture to her room because we just wanted to set this off and give her like princess vibes as well as making sure that this room is calm enough for me during the postpartum period. And I wanted to be sure that I took in account my mental health as I go through postpartum as well as this being, you know, our first time with the child. I wanted something calm relaxing something that felt really good to my spirit and to my soul and this room just feels amazing so um, yeah I feel like we put a lot of love and attention into the vibe into the feeling the energy of the room and I think baby girl will appreciate it so much So as you enter into the room, you will see her name in several different places. We did decide to name our sweet baby girl Madison. <laughs> I love that name so much and I'll definitely put the meaning of the name down on the screen. If you don't know, I have a twin brother. His name is Matthew. Matthew has been an intricate part in helping us out throughout um, this journey. My brother is autistic and he is he means the world to me. <laughs> I don't want to cry, you guys. No, I am pregnant. He means the world to me. Because I was thinking about having her middle name as his middle name, but mm, it just didn't work out for what we were going for. So I wanted something that has so much meaning in it, so much love and so much purity. And if you know my brother, his heart is so pure. And one of the, one of the meanings to Madison is son of Matthew. And it also originates on a special date that me and my brother were born. So it just felt like this was the name we wanted to give our baby girl. And it felt like, especially in the world today, like just sprinkle a little love. Um, Madison has a lot of love around that name as well. It's such a very powerful name. And I just wanna make sure that she knows as growing up in her household, who she is, what she is, how beautiful, how smart, intelligent, how powerful, how loving, how caring, how soft she is. So I'm, I'm just excited about the name. My husband and I felt like this was the best name for her. We feel like once we look at her, we are going to see a Madison. <laughs> and I'm just excited to be able to call her Maddie and run around with her as my little, little princess. So. So Madison is the name we decided to go with. Let me know what you guys think about the name Madison down in the comments below. So as 
as I stated, just walking into her room, you're gonna see her name in two different places. And here is going to be the first wall that you guys see. Uh, it has her first name along with her middle name and a little bit of paintings that we have left over from her art gallery wall. This here is a dresser that we picked up from Ikea. I painted it the same color as her accent wall, so a very, very faint pink. I didn't want anything that was too stark too dark too bold i wanted everything to be extremely airy for her so this very faint pink was the perfect when i say the absolute perfect pink that we could have went for um i added some gold knobs that I actually picked up on amazon and i added this green basket that wayfair sent me i'll be sure to link everything down in the description box in case you guys are interested um, in anything that you guys see in this video now this dresser is pretty much for a lot of my postpartum. I'm only using the top drawer for now so we still have room to grow in this room which I love about the entire space if I'm just being honest. Um, but this is where I plan to do a lot of her nursing when we are here in her room. So I wanted to make sure I had what I needed for myself during nursing as well as doing feedings for her in the top drawer and everything was able to fit in the top drawer so until we grow and until things change it'll probably be used for clothes or whatever we need it for i'm just glad we have the extra space right next to the ikea dresser i have our sitting and reading area we have three shelves and i plan to fill this up with different kinds of books you guys i want to read um one thing we do in our family is we do try to read a book a month last year we actually were successful with doing so so i want to make sure that i'm taking my time out with her showing her different pictures reading to her just to expand her mind a little bit more this beautiful chair um i got from i think it was bye bye baby um I'll put the store down below in case that's the wrong store. But I got this chair and it was actually on sale because they were going out of business. And it is a very comfortable and beautiful chair. It also comes with an ottoman that has uh, actual storage inside. So I have a lot of her blankets stored inside this ottoman. And I just thought this was the perfect combination for her chair and the perfect color. It is like a um, muted cream color. I thought it was the perfect color um, going into this room since we have grays, pinks, greens. I didn't want a gray chair here. I wanted something to actually give it a little bit more light. Now, this chair is also a rocking chair, so it rocks back and forth, and it also swivels. I placed the chair next to a beautiful side table. It's really, really heavy so that when baby girl does start walking, she can't just pull it down. I wanted something that was weighted, that's a little weight, so when she does start finding her independence, she's not hurting herself. I mean, this uh, side table more than likely won't stay in here um, indefinitely. However, for mommy, like I stated, we're gonna be here drinking and eating and breastfeeding and reading. I just wanted to have something I can place my belongings on while I'm in her room. Now, one of my favorite features from Madison's room is these beautiful, beautiful curtains. They are darkening curtains, so I can always close them to make the room extremely dark. I have the light on right now because I wanted you guys to actually see the curtains. Um, I got these curtains from Amazon as well as the gold curtain rod. Everything is pretty much accented with gold. Um, that is her accent color from the knobs to the picture frame, curtain rods, and even the rod that is on the actual chandelier that we chose for this room. I'm super happy that I went with gold. It feels like a feminine color when it's in this room. And it also gives that bold princess statement. So I really, really like that I went ahead and chose gold to be an accent color in this room. So on one side of the curtains, we have her reading wall with her books. And on the other side, we have a picture frame wall. 
and I love, love, love the artwork. I chose to go inside of these gold picture frames. The artwork um, are two different kinds. One is floral. The other is um, of different little animals that are more for a nursery. It says, hey, I'm a baby. I'm new to the family. I'm a girl. <laughs> and that I got all of that, including the picture frames from Amazon, which will be linked down in the description bar as well. I love how it looks. I also added this green plant against this wall because this wall leads to her actual bed. So I added a green plant and I wanted something extremely simple uh, for the plant to go inside, which is a very simple wicker basket. I chose a wicker basket because her light fixture has that wicker texture, I guess you would say. And I just wanted all the browns and the neutrals to kind of flow together as such. Now I am going to be honest because um, I love, this is like walking in, this is the wall that you actually see. And this is where her crib is. I got this crib off Facebook market. I think I paid 30 or 40 bucks for it. So it wasn't an expensive crib at all. When I looked up cribs, you guys, cribs are so expensive, which I honestly didn't mind paying the price for a normal crib. I did know that we were going to get the Newton mattress because it is a breathable mattress. I'm a first time mom. <laughs> I was extremely scared to have her in here and not have something that still had a little precaution to it, like a breathable mattress. So that in itself is really expensive. But when I was just looking and searching for a crib, my friend suggested I get on Facebook market if I'm just looking for like a standard white quick crib, which I was. And I found one, the owner was actually in our neighborhood. So it was just a win-win all the way around. Also, she'll be growing out of this crib. And usually the babies don't sleep in their crib. They're usually in a bassinet or somewhere near mommy. So I just wanted to make sure I had a crib for her in case we do start sleep training inside of her crib. I wanted to make sure she had one in her room, but I absolutely love this crib. Of course, I sanitized it, cleaned it really, really well and um it was beautiful there's nothing wrong with it it can go down different latches as she gets a little bigger but we did decide to go with a semi-modern white crib and i love the choice that we chose i think it looks really great next to the greenery next to the bed as well as these two sconces and baby girl's name right in the middle madison baby girl's closet um, I put the things that were hangable um, that are not going downstairs in our room because we did do a custom closet I can't wait for you guys to see the video if I post the video if not I'll post the reel over on my Instagram so make sure you guys are following me on Instagram as well however um, I decided to put some of her hangables go ahead and just put them up after we washed everything sanitized everything um, and we thank God for our village for just gifting us so much we felt so blessed throughout this entire pregnancy to be honest this has been a very smooth and just peaceful pregnancy I don't think I could have asked for anything better but as far as her closet um I just wanted it to be organized. I got this uh, shelf organizer. I got this cubicle cool shelf, I guess that's what you would call it. I got it from Target. I'll be sure to link it down below. And the cubes that actually go inside of them, I got them from Amazon. The hangers I actually picked up from Amazon as well as these age tags that you can hang as well i wanted to do that to make sure i'm knowing okay this is the newborn clothing zero to three months three to six etc i also picked those up from amazon they were very affordable i don't think they were more than ten dollars and they go all the way up until toddler age 
I'll link those for all of the new mommies or already mommies that are here just to keep your baby's clothes a little bit more organized. The whole theme of bringing a new family member into this family is staying organized so that we can all live the best life possible. And um, I don't want to have her room cluttered with a bunch of stuff, a bunch of toys, a bunch of anything. Just like my home, I want it to be minimalized as much as we can, as but as well as decorated and filled with love. So that's kind of how I did her closet here. I did keep her uh, baby cake from our gender reveal. I love that my friend Bunny made this diaper cake. It was so cute to me. So I wanted to keep it up for this video, but we will be utilizing those uh, diapers. So <laughs> that, that will be coming down very, very soon. But I did want to keep that diaper cake. I thought it was so beautiful. She also also has a few stuffed animals that were given to her by her TTs and then she also has um, a few shoes already I wasn't really too concerned about you know baby shoes at this time but um, we've been gifted so much so I just feel so thankful and so blessed I actually got this silicone stand where her shoes are actually sitting I got that from Amazon as well I'll link it down below it's very very useful you can use it for many many different things in these cubes is where her older age clothes are going so I think anything after six months is not in her dresser they're in the cubes and I just did it that way just to stay organized and also there are a few cubes that are empty and that's because we can also grow in her closet as well I didn't want her closet packed and filled with so much stuff that we have no room to grow so this room um, just like her is going to be growing along with her and I'm just super excited about that but certainly not least is we have her changing station and her dresser uh so this is still kind of in the works because like I said we're just still growing I still have a lot of things that I need to put up and open pretty much everything else is done though so we are ready so <laughs> you guys know we are three days out so we are ready but this is where her changing station is I have um her diapers and wipes and all that stocked up so I will open those diapers and put them along this green basket these green baskets came in a set that I got from Wayfair or Wayfair actually sent me those baskets and um, I love them so I decided to put one on her changing station just to keep everything organized and one on my breast station so that I can have my pump out and keep those organized as well um, above her changing table aka her dresser which also came from Ikea um, and I got this dresser off of Facebook Market as well. I added the gold, the same gold knobs that I added from the dresser we picked up from Ikea. And when I say it turned out perfectly, now instead of painting this dresser that same color pink, pink we kept it white and i love how everything turned out i love the freshness of it i actually gave it a um one fresh coat just so it could have a fresh coat of white on there so i love how it looks um especially paired with these gold knobs above the dresser i have this gold round mirror i believe it's 36 inches all the way around and uh, I got this mirror from Wayfair as well. I'll link it down below. It's heavy, heavy, heavy. It's a heavy duty mirror. So everything that we have hung up on the walls, they are hung up by heavy duty hangers because I don't want any mistakes or anything to drop down, especially while baby girl is in here. Um, but yes, we took the precautions. Nobody be worried. Everything is secured. We have baby latches to secure our dressers as well. So we feel safe that baby girl's room is safe and secure. On either side of the mirror, we actually have uh, these bookshelves 
and this side on this side actually has a hanging shelf so I just wanted to display some of her little onesies her little clothes and a robe I thought that was the cutest thing ever I seen it on Pinterest and I was like oh my baby girl has to have a wardrobe display somewhere in her room I thought that's the cutest thing ever and I love how everything looks right on the side of her changing table we do have her little um, trash can I can't remember what it's called but you guys know what these things are called they're supposed to secure the smell um, into the actual trash can one thing that I like about this trash can is that you can use any type of trash bag and that was something that I wanted to make sure I could use a universal trash bag I didn't want to have to get particular trash bags for the trash can that will actually do me no good that would drive my mind crazy now I know a lot of people are like well what about the security do you have cameras we have cameras of course all over the house but in this room we decided to use the uh, hoo hoo ho hoo I'm not sure I'll link it we got it from Amazon my husband chose this camera because I don't believe it's a Wi-Fi connected camera we kept hearing things and seeing different TikToks on certain cameras that are great brands but how people are able to actually um, get into your camera system and I just so much fear I did not want that to happen I don't even want the possibility of that happening so we decided to go with this camera and we're able to look at baby girl hear baby girl we're also able to move the camera in a 360 motion as well as in an up and down motion so right now we have the camera sitting here and we can see a fishbowl uh, view of the room as well as zoom into the baby mattress where we can see her actually sleeping um, but we may move it and put it closer to the crib uh, as she you know gets here right now she will not be unsupervised she's just she'll be way too small to be unsupervised while she's sleeping so this is a great space for it as of right now also these shelves are empty I'm not sure what I'm going to put up here on these shelves I just know there will be something up here segment pieces is the light fixture that we put up here I think is so beautiful it is a natural finish light fixture kind of has like that batten color or feel to it it gives um, just a certain vibe that I really really think flows and it says the perfect nursery light so I'm so glad we went ahead and went with that light fixture I picked it up from Wayfair so I will link it down below as well as this rug I love 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 this rug it is a mainly green rug that has accents of pinks and grays and creams in it that ties everything together literally everything together in the room so i'm so happy we went, uh, with this rug i got the rug from amazon i was staring at this rug i seen it on pinterest and i didn't see a lot of green or other color rugs inside of baby girl nurseries and i did not want pink i just didn't want to be overloaded with pink hence the reason why we went with a very faint pink on the back wall i didn't want to be overloaded with it but the pink that this rug has in it matches the curtains to a t so it gave gave me the option of adding different tones of pink in this room as well it matches our baskets that we decided to go with um the greenery in the corner i also decided to go with a green sheet for the baby's crib so everything ties in with a little hints of green little hints of different colors of pink and those hints of gold and cream and then of course the natural batten color and i just love how it turned out
So guys, that is the complete tour of our sweet baby girl Madison's room. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. As I've stated a million times in this video, anything you're looking at should be linked down in the description box below. Let me know what you guys think about her room down in the comments below. I feel so happy and so blessed and I'm so ready to have her here. Let me know if you found this video because you're creating a nursery for yourself or you're thinking about changing in your nursery did this video help you let me know down in the comments below and if you like this video don't forget to give it a really big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe you guys as always I'll see you guys on my next one bye <laughs>